Well, hello everybody. We are here and I just got back. We, my wife is over here. Uh, I just got back from seeing Doctor Strange at the theater and I think this is my new favorite Marvel film. Uh, if you've seen the movie, I'm warning you now, I'm going to pull like uh, a Nerdist thing, a Chris thing, you know, like for Talking Dead. Uh, I'm warning you now, if you haven't seen Doctor Strange yet, you don't want to know what happened in the movie, go away, watch this video in 24 hours, 48 hours, because uh, there will be spoilers, uh, there will be blood. Um, I went into this movie with high expectations, and it's probably the first movie I've seen in years where I went in with high expectations and walked out with every expectation met. Oh good, everybody left my periscope. <laughs> uh, I, everybody, I, I went into this movie with high expectations and left uh, elated. I, th there's been a lot of movies like Dawn of Justice where I went in expecting crap and was like, I'm okay with this. It's still crap, but I'm okay with this. I went in, you know, a lot of Avengers movies thinking, oh, it's going to be the best movie ever. It was like, it was okay. It was good. It was still entertaining. It's a great two hours, two and a half hours, three hours in some cases of, you know, distraction from the world. And uh, there was two hours without politics. Tonight surpassed all expectations for this movie, Doctor Strange. Right from the get-go, there's a brand new, I saw half of the movie tonight, I left, I haven't left a movie. You, you didn't like Doctor Strange? You left Doctor Strange? Oh I, my I, I, God. I, I would've left if you were. My wife was not in the same place I am with this. First of all, I love the new Marvel Studios intro, right? Not just Right? Actually, like, clips. Oh, my God. It was not so bad. Benedict Cum I'm a cummer, bitch. I, you know, I, I, I should say, I mean, I, I might be, like, the equivalent of uh, Kellyanne Conway talking for Donald Trump. I am a cumber bitch. Um, as much as I am a Duchovniac, I'm a star fucker at this point for Benedict Cumberbatch. I love Sherlock. I love everything he's done. It was very different than Avengers. It was very different than all those movies. But you had this amazing cast of Shakespearean and, and just upper echelon actors, not just pretty faces. You know what I mean? Mad Mickelson uh, just rocked it as, uh, oh, I, can't, I, gotta, I have it here just because I don't want to mispronounce his name. Uh, Cornelius? No, what was his name there? Uh... Vasilius, no, uh, Casilius, Casilius, yeah, Casilius, and, uh, just, just amazing, uh, but right again, yeah, the Marvel Studios thing, uh, the beginning, we get this arrogant, professor, Doctor Strange, uh, but he's brilliant, right, um, and then he's, you know, he's flashing around in the car, and all of a sudden he's talking to his, uh, like he has an agent. Like he doesn't just do emergency room doctor stuff. He only does high profile stuff, the big money stuff, stuff that gets him on Time Magazine and on the papers and uh, in, in the news shows and blah, 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 right? And he had a, uh, like an agent almost call him, hey, what do you got for me? And the first thing he said, well, I got this uh, colonel with a spinal injury from an exoskeleton. I says, holy shit, he, he just turned down War Machine. He, like, ah, did you realize it was an Avenger? You're turning down War Machine? You're not going to help? Oh, my God, you're not going to help him out? That, that's just wrong. He says, nah, it doesn't sound like high profile enough for me. And then he's looking at things that he gets in this horrible accident, he's got all these pins and needles, needles and pins, yeah, in his hands, and and then he goes to Katmandu in search of magic, because Benjamin Bratt uh, told him to. Yeah, Penguin, right? Benjamin Bratt, uh, you know, it was pretty good. I like Benjamin Bratt in this role. Uh, really, and in, what he does at the end, the very, very, very end, you know, the, what I mean, the very, very end, you know, the second clip. And uh, All right, I'm telling you the spoilers, so go away. If you don't want to know spoilers, if you don't know what happened in the movie, if you haven't seen the movie yet, go see the movie. And Now, I will warn you that if you uh, have epilepsy or you have issues with things, right, 
it's all over the place. It's very inception at times. It's hard to follow at times. Um, I'm, thank God, don't see this movie in 3D. I, I might be wrong. I saw it in 2D, and it felt like it was almost in 3D. There's just so much going on. I felt if this was in 3D, I would have been throwing up. I mean, it really is. It's all over the map visually. Uh, but I love it. I, it's all over the map, but not in a bad way like you have to realize like this is supposed to be like multi-dimensional shit right this is all over the place and all the stuff you know you saw it in the commercials it's even crazier uh it, it surpasses anything they've done in the animation i think this is one of those characters you couldn't do well you know like when they did spider-man even toby mcguire they couldn't do that movie even a year earlier because the technology didn't exist right they could not have done this movie uh, up until now i mean w what they did with the cgi and uh the whole thing the whole dark dimension right it was more impressive than they've ever done with animation. That's sort of the problem you always have with Superman, right? Superman or all the, and even Spider-Man to extend. They, they, did really, they did an amazing job with Spider-Man, all the movies, even if you don't like the Andrew Garfield movies, but uh, they still, the special effects were pretty amazing, right? But all these movies, uh, but even like the, the, like the, the Zack Snyder Superman, I don't like the way they make Superman move. Uh, it's too uh, video game for me, right? This was just surreal. And, and if you're somebody who loves surreal crap, you're going to love this movie. And I, I will warn you, you know, uh, if, you, if you have a sick stomach going in, you might get really nauseous. It might not be good for you. So, uh, so you know, you go in there and then this, uh, I keep forgetting how to say, Casilius. I keep, I keep wanting to say Vasilius or like make it more medical than it really is. Um, you know, the out-of-body experiences and the, the, the like, the astroplane fights that go on. And, and, and But how the astroplane and the physical plane react with each other. Uh, this movie just brings everything from the Doctor Strange world and puts it in this two-hour movie. And, uh, and it's a tight two hours. It's, it, it feels like a really perfect length. I mean, I, I think with... It was a 7.30 movie. I was out at 9.30, right? So like two hours with previews. I mean, that's a, an hour and 45 minutes. It's a perfect length movie. It's not one of these like, let's let's just make them sit there for three hours and give them uh, almost Ben-Hur or Ten Commandments, like epic movies, like two movies in one with an intermission. No, they, it was a perfect length movie. And there was a lot of stuff. So we talked about the uh, the egg with uh, uh, a war machine, right? War machines in there. Um, you know, it was perfect. The infinity crystals were kind of hinting ahead of time to Thanos and the Infinity War, the next Avengers, right? That's coming. And and then. And then again, okay, warning right now. If you haven't seen the movie, go away. When Doctor Strange, after the credits, like Doctor Strange, uh, he does this whole time travel thing. He's got the eye. He, he's reading stuff. He's got, uh, he, he's learning faster and he surpasses Mordo. Mordo, okay, I'm warning you. Mordo's a good guy in this movie up until the very end. Uh, he's a good guy in this movie. And, and he's like his sidekick kind of right. Or like, you know, he's help, you know, helping each other. But he's teaching Doctor Strange. He's way ahead of him. But Doctor Strange is so brilliant. Um. Uh, you know, Steven's so brilliant, he's got that photographic memory, and he could just learn stuff, and he just grabs stuff. Oh my God, Benedict Wong. Benedict Wong, if you haven't seen Marco Polo on Netflix, Marco Polo, Marco Polo on Netflix, Benedict Wong as Genghis Khan. Um, I love this actor, he's a phenomenal actor, he's been in a lot of things. Uh, Oh my God, he's like the heart and soul of this movie. Benedict Wong in this movie is just amazing. I love this guy. I feel like my battery is dying. Oh, that's crap. I got four minutes on this battery. I better wrap. I'm doing a, a video, video of this. Oh, so uh, I don't know. I, I swear it was charging up the whole time. So uh, Benedict Wong is in this movie, and he just won. And at the very end, uh, I, I, I'm not gonna give that away. Go see the movie, but he, he's awesome. And then at the very end, we get through the credits. Right? There's two. There's two. Credit. That's like the new Marvel thing. It's like one's not enough. We need two. So the first one, it's Thor drinking this bottomless cup of 
ale, right? And talking about what's coming and why they had, like their father is missing and they need to save, um, and it, it, Loki and all of them are hiding in New York. Imagine all of the uh, realm uh, of, are hiding in New York, because that's gonna be crazy, right? So that's coming. And then the second one, Mordo goes back to Pangorn, Benjamin Bratt, and takes his magic away. Benjamin Bratt has all this magic that's keeping him from his spinal injury, from making him all paralyzed. And then Benjamin actually goes into that, oh, I'm all paralyzed again. Really amazing acting. The, the acting in this movie is great. The special effects is great. The script is great. It's wonderfully funny when you weren't expecting it to be, uh, just silly moments at times, but I love it. I love it. It's like comic book hokey in a good way. Zack Snyder, this is how you make a good comic book movie. You know, have some fucking fun doing it, right? Hey guys, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to go and just like maybe watch this again. I might just go right back to the theater for the midnight showing because I love this movie. This might be my new favorite Marvel movie. So Benedict, thank you. Um, I do want Sherlock to come back sooner than it's supposed to, but but the, the you know the Christmas special, you know the the bride, it was it was good, it was good. I I need more Sherlock. I I want I, I'm new to Sherlock. I discovered it last summer and watched all three seasons three times already. So like I'm a freaking Benedict Cumberbatch fan and um, and Star Trek, you know, oh, I love it, love it, love it. Hey guys, we'll see you soon. Check out IndieFanboy.com. Check me out at Walt Frazier on Twitter and we'll check you out soon. Yo!